Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 11. And yeah, last episode we made contact with the bad guy. And I'm so bad with names, I always feel bad about it when I don't know the names. <laughs> but yeah, we made contact and we fought. And our instruction guy for Itadori has to go into overtime now because it's 6 p.m. already, where he normally clocks out, but he's not done with the fight. So overtime it is. While in the meantime, Itadori is talking with the school kid. Which also I don't know the name of, because I forgot. Um, so yeah, we will see how the overtime goes, right? And we will see what happens. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. PM. Time to stop playing around. The most powerful tie in the world. <clears throat> Explaining how his ability works. <laughs> Damn his OST. What the heck? <laughs> okay, that was... Very confusing. <laughs> oh, that was so confusing. Oh, he explains his technique. He's not playing around. I mean, normally you... <clears throat> Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it seems kind of dumb that they always explain the techniques to the enemy, right? It always happens. I mean, it's not that you that they might do it in this case because so that the viewer knows what is going on, right? Because we already know what is going on with this ability, right? Um. So explaining it in this case. Makes no sense, really. Maybe it was to confuse the enemy, right? Explain how it works. And then he did something else. Because was that also his ability that he... Did he apply his ability, his technique to the wall? Destroyed the wall because of it? Because he dealt a critical hit against the wall, which has a bigger impact, does more destruction. And then he used that to confuse him, that he pays attention to... All the stuff that is up in the air. In the meantime, he moved around to him and used the confusion to chop off his leg. Is that what he did? Like some mind games? Confusing him? Divert his vision? Whatever. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> oh. Mhm. Mm I watched a bunch of movies recently. Bonding time. Mama. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah it seems very boring so let's watch it three times to figure it out Oh, his mom. <laughs> I'll consider it. <laughs> of course. The main character is obviously hungry. <laughs> So how, how can he be defeated? So by destroying his soul, basically? Nah.
I was wondering if someone appears in the back seat suddenly. <laughs> so he's also a spirit. <clears throat> Hmm. <clears throat> so if he's a spirit, then he looks very human-like compared to the other spirits we saw, right? <clears throat> they look more like monsters or something. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, seems that way. <laughs> Maybe a bit too nice because school is still important, right? Be dead. Oh, we never met her, okay. <clears throat> what happened with his dad? Did he also just went away? Or did he die or what? <laughs> I mean, I guess he already knows, right? So I guess Itadori has some positive influence on him. Oh, 
Oh, I guess that's maybe how he switches, right? From being with the bad guy to maybe joining the sorcerer school, right? Good. I could imagine that it was one of them. On purpose. He thinks Itadori. Or maybe not. I could imagine that it's a bad guy to push the boy, right, over to the bad side, maybe, by losing his mother. There's something in the air. Looks like a portal or some shit. <clears throat> okay, like tra transfiguring like a whole school or some shit. Um, yeah, they did it.
Um, Is he in on the plan? Oh, the burn marks on the cigarettes. I guess he's in on the plan, maybe? Seems like that. How should he do it? Um, after credit scene. It wasn't. Didn't it say Jujutsu Stroll, which is normally for like the. Banter thingies at the end? Guess not. Is this a flat episode the next episode? If that's the next episode, it seems like an, some kind of fillery stuff. Not like immediately what follows up after this episode. I'm confused. But yeah. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so Itadori has contact with uh, Junpei, is his name, I think. And yeah, they get along because of the movie stuff and all. And the mother seems nice, right? And then obviously the bad guys plot something against it. So they kill the mother, I guess, pretty much. And I guess to push Junpei over the edge, right? <clears throat> and yeah, now they attack the school pretty much. For the whole reason, so that Itadori and Junpei clash, so that they maybe can get into contact with Itadori, so that Itadori and Sukuna make a pact to maybe get him on their side? Is that the idea? Um, What I'm confused about is, not confused about this, but Itadori and Sukuna already have a pact, right? Can they just make another pact? Or is their plan of make of Itadori and Sukuna making pact is just like out of the window because they don't know that they already made a pact? Hmm. So, yeah. It, it's <clears throat> Here is one of my problems with Jujutsu Kaisen. It feels kind of like all over the place for me at times. Um, because right now we have this whole scene here with... First we have Itadori and Junpei hanging out together, doing the movie stuff, have, eating together with the mother and all everything. Seems alright, and then suddenly mother dies. Then suddenly Junpei, bad. Then suddenly Itadori appears at the school out of nowhere. like. 
it just feels like so jumpy. It just feels like it jumps around from one sudden scene to another sudden scene. And that's, that's what I feel like is a bit weird about Jujutsu Kaisen, how jumpy it feels at times and how quickly we move on through different things from one crazy thing to the next weird thing and all that stuff. Um, I feel like <clears throat> there is no in-between really, right? That's what it seems like to me. And so... Let me let me let me see let me see um here uh, da, 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 da. um the scene where they talked Itadori and the dude yeah she was attacked blah, blah, blah. Mm, found in her bedroom uh. What was this all about, basically? After the incident at Tatsukakura High School, we discovered the corpse of Yoshino Nagi. <clears throat> okay, so I think I missed that, that it's like after the school. So the school part came first, then they discovered the mother. So. It's reversed order, basically. So what we saw at the very end came basically before. <clears throat> but still, it feels very jumpy because of it. Because we went from having dinner and everything to suddenly school event. To then we found, find the mother dead. And then they maybe make the conclusion that Itadori shouldn't come along. Because he could be in the way. Because... He probably has to kill people or something. I don't know. I guess we have to wait for the next episode, maybe. But yeah, like I said, it, it feels kind of jumpy at times and weird how it progresses at times. So that's something I don't like about Jujutsu Kaisen so far. Um, Yeah, it feels kind of weird at times. <clears throat> but yeah. So I guess I mean I I feel like I have not much to say to this episode. We made like I said like I said we had like the action scene at the beginning with the bad guy and um where I was wondering like how can you beat him? Probably by like destroying his soul it seems like because otherwise as long as he has a soul he can just reform his body I guess. Um and then Itadori making contact with Junpei talking and all that stuff and then suddenly the end scene basically with the school stuff going on and his mother dead. So yeah, I guess we have to wait for the next episode to see what is going on really and how it progresses or whatever. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.